Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss about earthquake proof structures. Around the world, due to earthquakes, many lives and properties were destroyed every year. So it became very important to construct these earthquake proof structures. So in the coming 9 minutes, we will discuss about the techniques which were used to construct earthquake proof structures. So watch the video till the end. If you like our video, please share our video so it can reach many people. Let me introduce myself, my name is Vinay and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel, also click the bell icon. Let's start our video. Introduction Throughout the history, we have built many structures and cities only for them to encounter the forces of nature. But earthquakes are the most its destructive forces so these seismic forces can destroy buildings take lives and cost tremendous amount of money for loss and repair so this damage is not only caused by this quake but also caused by the collapse of buildings with which the people inside them making earthquake proof buildings a must over the past few decades our engineers have introduced new designs and building materials to better earthquake buildings to withstand these earthquake forces. How earthquake will impact structure? So it's important to understand how earthquakes impact man-made structures. When an earthquake occurs, it sends shock waves throughout the ground in short rapid intervals in all the directions. While buildings are generally equipped to handle only vertical forces from their weight and gravity. They cannot handle side to side forces emitted by these quakes. Okay, this horizontal load vibrates walls, floors, columns and beams and the connectors that hold them together. This difference in movement between bottom and top of the buildings exerts extreme stress causing the supporting frames to rupture and this entire structure to collapse. What is earthquake proofing? This we have to understand carefully. To design an earthquake proof buildings, engineers need to reinforce the structure and counteract an earthquake force means earthquakes release energy that pushes a building from one direction. So our strategy is to have the building to push in a opposite way. So here are the some of the methods used to help buildings withstand these earthquake forces. Okay, first one is to flexible foundation. So what is flexible foundation? So to resist the ground forces, we have to lift these building foundation above the earth. So the base isolation involves constructing a building on top of flexible pads of made of steel, rubber and lead. So when the base moves during the earthquake, isolators vibrate while the structures itself remain steady. You can see in this picture, when the ground is moving, these isolators move and the building will be steady. Okay, so this effectively helps to observe seismic waves and prevent them from traveling throughout the building. Okay, next damping. So what is damping? You might be aware that cars have shock absorbers. So similar to their use in cars, shock absorbers reduce the magnitude of shock waves and help building slow down. So this can be done in two ways. One vibration control devices and pendulum dampers. With vibrational control devices, dampers are placed at each level of a building between a column and a beam. You can see in the picture. So each damper consists of a piston head inside a cylinder filled with silicon oil. When an earthquake occurs, the building transfers this vibration energy into the pistons and this pushes against the oil. So the energy is transformed into heat and dissipating the force of vibrations. Next, pendulum. Another dampening method is pendulum power, used primarily in skyscrapers. The engineers suspend a large ball with steel cables with a system of hydraulics at top of a building you can see in the picture 
So, when the building begins this way, the ball acts as a pendulum and moves in a opposite direction. Like damping, these futures are tuned to match and contract building's frequency in the event of an earthquake. Next, shield buildings from vibrators means instead of just contracting forces, researchers are also experimenting with ways of building that can deflect these forces and reroute the energy from earthquake altogether. Seismic Invisibility Clock This innovation involves creating a clock of 100 concentric plastic and concrete rings in and burying it at least 3 feet beneath the foundation of the building. You can see in the picture, these are concentric circles. As seismic waves enter the rings, they are forced to move throughout the outer rings for easier travel. As a result, they are essentially channeled away from the building and dissipated into plates in the ground. Fourth, reinforce the structure. To withstand collapse, buildings need to be redistribute the forces that travel through them during a seismic event. Shear walls, cross braces, diaphragms, and movement resisting frames are central to reinforcing a building. Shear wall. So these shear walls are useful building technology that helps to transfer these earthquake forces. Made of panels, these walls help to building its shape during movement. You can see in the picture, the shear wall resists the shape of a building. Shear walls are often supported by diagonal cross braces. You can see in the picture, these are cross braces. These steel beams have the ability to support compression and tension, which helps to contract the pressure and push forces back to the foundation. Next, diaphragms. Diaphragms are a central part of building structure. Consisting of the floors of the building, the roof and the decks placed over them. Diaphragms help remove tension from the floor and push force to the vertical structure of the buildings. The forces are transferred to the vertical structures of the buildings. Next, movement resisting frames. Movement resisting frames provide more flexibility in a building's design. So here the structure is placed among the joints of the building and allows for the columns and beams to bend while joints remain rigid. Okay. Next, earthquake resisting materials. While shock observers, pendulums and invisibility clocks may help in dispel the energy to an extent, the material used in the building are equally responsible for its stability. So steel and wood. For a building material to resist stress and vibration, it must have high ductility. So modern materials like components of steel that come in a wide variety of shapes that allows buildings to bend without breaking. Wood is also a surprising ductile material due to its high strength relative to its lightweight structure. New innovative materials. Innovations like shape memory, alloys have the ability to both endure heavy strain revert to their original shape. Means while fiber reinforced plastic wrap made by a variety of polymers can be wrapped around columns and provide up to 38% greater strength and ductility. Finally, conclusion. Over the years, engineers, scientists have devised the techniques to create some effective earthquake-proof buildings. So as advanced the technology and materials are today, it is not yet possible for building to completely withstand a powerful earthquake unscattered. Still, if a building is able to allow its occupants to escape without collapsing and saves lives and communities, we can consider that a great success. Thank you for watching the video. If you like our video, please share this video and don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.